Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to recover your data from a corrupted hard drive, maybe a crashed hard drive, or maybe that you've deleted a folder by accident and it had all your photographs in it, or documents, data, coursework, whatever it may be. And I'm going to show you how to recover that data back for free with a piece of free software. Now bear in mind, date recovery can cost hundreds of pounds, if not hundreds of dollars, and by doing it this way, it's not going to cost you a penny because you're going to be doing it yourself. Now, we're not talking about failed hard drives here. If your drive is failed and it's not working and it's not readable, then you will need to send it away to be recovered using hardware technology, not software. Okay, let's get started. So we need to come to Snap-on Tools, as you can see here, uh, www uh, or snapfiles.com, I should say, and it's forward slash get forward slash PC Inspector. HTML and this is it here I will put the link up and you download the program from here okay now I'm not going to show you how to install a program you know how to do that by now so this is the program here anyway as you can see it I've already installed it so let's get started now you'll be confronted with the actual language that you want to choose so we're going to choose English like so now there's a couple of points to remember when you're doing date recovery and the first one is that you can't recover data from the drive that you are scanning and putting it onto the same drive so I'll try and make that sound more simple if you're scanning C drive you can't recover the files from the C drive and put them back onto the C drive they'll have to be put onto a different partition or something of that nature so I'll show you like this if you're scanning this drive the files that you recover from this drive will have to be put onto a separate partition or pen drive okay that's important if you do try to do that you could end up mucking up your um, data recovery process and you might not be able to get the files back the mo second most important thing is if you've been using the computer try to stop using the computer as soon as possible as soon as you've delete, deleted the file stop using the computer and do a data recovery straight away okay that's the next best thing don't keep using the computer because the longer you use it the less chance you've got to get the data back and the third most really important stuff is don't use overwriting techniques or scrubbing of the drive that's a really important thing and what I mean by that is something like this I'll show you in CC Cleaner if I go options and settings you'll find like a secure file deletion okay and it's got dot there three passes or NSA seven passes national security and stuff like that, Gutman 35 passes if you're using this to scrub your drive or, or delete files then you are not going to get that back okay so you want to make sure that you don't use that sort of technology because otherwise you will not recover your files okay all that means is it's deleting the file over and over again and doing different passes to delete that file and it makes it very hard for people to get that data back okay another thing is if you're using stuff like um, just quickly show you like this sort of software scrubbing software privacy suites if you're using stuff like that then this is what I'm on about erasing the data you will not get data back okay okay enough of that let's get um, scanning of the drive now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be scanning a small little 512 meg um, pen drive because it's not going to take as long to get the data back as you can see I've deleted all the data on there and this is the data that was actually on there okay so it's not on there now so what I'm going to do is scan this drive and try to recover files from that pen drive okay it's not going to take half as long you need to click on this button here and that's going to scan for actual drives on your system whether they be external drives pen drives or internal drives just let that do its job this depends on how many drives you've got there you go it's a list of drives there and we're looking for the i drive okay we're looking for this drive because that's the drive we're going to be scanning okay so i'm going to click on this one and i need to make sure what file this is another important thing when you're s s uh, scanning for data you need to make sure what file system is it's using now this is using fat so it'll be no good me searching for F uh, ntfs because it won't find any files on there it's only going to find files on the FAT system, on the file system, okay? So that's really important. So what I need to do here is make sure that I'm using FAT32, number 2, or 
or number one which will be fat 16 I think as long as you're searching in the fat mode that's all that matters okay so what I'm going to do now is click on the tick and it's, it's done its search already there so what I need to do now is see this file here that was what was inside that was deleted as you can see there it is there these are some of the files so what I want to do is I want to recover this file and now I'm going to recover it to the desktop now I can do that because obviously this is drive I and I'm going to recover it to my C drive so that's okay so all I need to do is click on the save file to a directory and I'm going to be saving it into that backup folder okay I think I'll uh, just do this and there you go it's as simple as that so now we have recovered that file and if I open it up all my data will be there there you go it's as simple as that so that file now has been recovered and say for instance I wanted to get something else back you just carry on doing the same process or you can do them all in one foul swoop depending on what you want to do but just for this tutorial I'm just showing you exactly how to do it and it's that simple there you go that's the file exactly recovered back to where I wanted it to be now if I wanted to do all of this I could recover the whole of this lot back if I wanted to now okay you might be saying you've only just deleted that but you can actually go back to when the, the PC when you first bought the PC or whenever you first purchased that thing so everything you've had on there and deleted as long as you haven't been overwriting it there's a good chance that you'll get all that data back okay so anyway I hope this has been some use to you my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoyed my videos please subscribe to my channel show your support and uh, rate for all my videos and uh, if you have a request for a video then um, please send us a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you okay got any questions leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Okay, thanks again for watching. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Bye for now.